provided the tractor supply and we're taking you with us. This tractor supply, they built it probably maybe a little over a year ago, a year and a half. And for whatever reason, we've never come inside. So this is going to be too much fun. So we came here today specifically to look for a cart that we can hook onto our mower or pull by hand. But we're going to take a good long time checking everything out in here. So one of the other things that we want to look at while we're here today is the cattle panels because, you know, they make great garden chalices. And it looks like they're straight ahead. Wow, this is pretty cool here. Look at all this. I don't know what this thing is here, but it looks pretty cool. And I can envision using it for something in the garden. <laughs> it's uh, good for waterproof, rain, and warm. Just wouldn't be able to wear them in the summertime. And the price is right. Hubby just pointed out that I was looking at the kids' sizes. <laughs> so this is what like the women's version looks like. So I didn't end up getting the boots because they didn't have my size. So I'll try another place. Back around the carts. So I think this is what we came here to get. So we got our carts. Hubby got some boots. And we're headed home. How much you think that weighs? 28 kilograms. <laughs> I guess that's what is that on the box. I have to do a quick conversion in my head. Ain't happening. What do you think? 45 pounds? Maybe. Ah, oh, look at this. It's all like self-contained. So this cart is groundwork. I know it's upside down. Poly dump cart. And this one holds seven cubic feet, which might be on the small side for a lot of folks, but it should serve our needs just right. So this looks really straightforward. And lucky for us, Hubby loves to build things. <laughs> he has a lot of experience either building things straight out or assembling things. The towing handle hooks too. No, that's the release handle for dumping. Oh, it's okay. spring loaded. Yeah. I'm assuming that's the case.
I think Trix was getting pretty bored out here. So we're gonna get her back inside the house and then come back out. The wheel's going next. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I'm totally never going to use the wheelbarrow ever again, I don't think. No more wheelbarrow accidents for this girl. So that gives a good idea of how much soil bags it'll hold. Does it roll pretty easy? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, this is going to be a game changer. I actually did have a wheelbarrow accident once. It wasn't terrible, but it was painful for a week or so. I'm going to give it a try. Oh yeah, that rolls pretty easily. I was a little concerned about having to go backwards where, you know, with the wheelbarrow, you're pushing it forwards, which sometimes it's nice to have that capability, but uh, I think the convenience of this is going to outweigh that and walking backwards is not that big of a deal and you can push it it's just then you gotta it's a little bit more tricky to keep it going straight ahead but that just comes with a little bit of practice yeah this is gonna be really nice all right <laughs> That is nice. Very nice. So we got the cart all put away until we need it the next time, which will probably be next weekend when I haul in more soil. And we love it, it's so good. I think it's gonna just be a game changer for moving materials around the property. Um, thanks for hanging out with us today and coming along on our first trip to Tractor Supply. I hope you're having a great weekend and I will talk to you later.